take anything for granted. The Missouri House voted to override Governor Nixon's veto of the congressional redistricting map. Nixon vetoed the map several days earlier following the General Assembly's approval of the map. The sponsor of the map disapproves of the veto and claims the House did its job. We believe this map is uh, fair and adequately represents all Missourians, it's compact, contiguous, and I encourage the body to vote to uh, override uh, the governor's veto. Supporters of the governor's veto argue the map was passed with political intentions and it doesn't represent the people of the state. But it's obvious this map has been based on politics. Deals have been cut, promises have been made, and that's not right. And when people hear about that and they understand that, they're livid. Lawmakers narrowly approved the override by a vote of 109 to 44. The entire Republican caucus and four Democrats voted to overturn Nixon's veto. One of those Democrats states it came down to representing his constituents. My congressman felt that this map might be something he might be able to work with and he felt that the question mark would have been to go into the courts and not know exactly what, it, what the outcome would have been. Following the House override, the Senate also voted to override the governor's veto. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Jonathan Lorenz.